Hey guys, happy new year. Now, what if I told you guys that I am taking any offer that comes in and making a ton of cash? What would you guys think? What would you say? I have actually been getting some comments here and there of people saying they're accepting every offer. They're making a ton of money. Let me know your thoughts on this. Of course, I do not believe this. Just because you're seeing money in your account does not mean that you are are profitable and then let's say somebody tells me they're making $200 a day well how many hours are you having to work to make that $200 a day I like to stay on average around $25 an hour now granted some days you're gonna make a little bit more some days are gonna be a lot less of course each market varies some days you have to put in more hours to meet your goals it just really varies from person to person but I don't think accepting every single offer that comes your way at least I could definitely not do that in my market I would not be profitable at all there is so many bad offers these days that we have to be picky to be able to stay profitable so I don't know how these people that have left these comments are saying that they're accepting every single offer and that are profitable of course there's a lot more information that needs to go along with saying that you're making a lot of money accepting every offer how many hours are you working how much money are you making what type of vehicle are you driving are you driving a v8 when you're coming out here and doing these deliveries many of you guys know that i drive a prius which is a very gas efficient when i come out here i am still picky with my offers as many of you guys know i like the two dollar per mile ratio now i know in some markets that's a little bit harder to get of course you have to do it works for you but of course when you come out here you have to make sure you are profitable just because you see that you made a hundred dollars by the end of your shift how many hours did you have to work and how you determine that is you take how much pay you see divided by how many hours that you've been out here will give you your hourly pay per hour again I like to stay around $25 per hour but again some days is a little bit more some days is a little bit less each day will vary but you don't want to just come out here and just drive and take every offer because you see a dollar amount up there are you really profitable so those are some things to think about and again another thing that you need to be sure you're doing is be sure you are tracking your miles because this is a huge tax deduction if you make over six hundred dollars on any of these apps you will have to pay taxes that's another thing that some people do not take into consideration when they come out here driving again there's a few things that you need to be aware of when coming out here to make sure you are profitable if you are interested in a way of tracking your mileage because you're not doing this there is an app called solo and I do have the link down in the description for a 14 day free trial ton of different features for us gig drivers including solo will help you file your taxes for a fee and you can do it right from the solo app makes it super super easy as well as helping you estimate your state and federal taxes which is another bonus and just so many things but definitely check it out if you are looking for a way to track your miles but again I don't believe coming out here and just accepting every single offer you're making a ton of cash because you do have a bunch of expenses that you do need to take into account when coming out here and driving on top of that we're driving our own vehicles you have a wear and tear depending on how much you're driving some people do it part-time some people do it full-time everybody has their own way of coming out here and earning money but the bottom line is you want to make sure you are profitable so we're gonna get these apps turned on get these wheels to move and I don't know if you guys can tell I am in the passenger seat tonight do you have myself a driver the husband is driving tonight so let's get these apps turned on and see what we can line up all right guys took me a moment to get an offer of course had a lot of declining to do it is pouring down rain I'm sure you guys could hear it but let's say I accepted some of these offers that I declined I'm just going to share a few with you for example here's one four dollars fifty cents from DoorDash for 4.4 miles if I took this then of course I wouldn't get the offer that I ended up getting um, that's just one of them that was a decline and then what about this one eight dollars sixty six cents sounds nice but it is two pickups for seven miles. 
that was another decline for me and here is even a worse one two dollars and fifty cents for 2.1 miles the people saying that they are accepting every offer making a ton of cash are you making any money accepting these two dollar fifty cent orders for you know even though the miles is low two dollars and fifty cents you got to keep in mind one you have to drive to the restaurant what if you get stuck in traffic what if the order's not ready what if you have a wait at the restaurant what if you have trouble finding the customer these offers aren't even worth it they're not even profitable not even worth thinking twice about so i'm just thinking to myself i wouldn't be making any money if i was accepting all of these offers plus i get a lot of backwards offers just doesn't make any sense to me let me know if one of you guys is in a market to where you are seeing nothing but good offers i hear from a lot of you guys you guys have to decline a lot just like me you see the low paying offers the backwards offers you hold out just like me for a reasonable offer which is what i did finally got a reasonable offer eight dollars four cents for 4.2 miles for mod pizza i am here right now they're usually pretty good about having the order ready so we're gonna go in there plus the parking lot's like empty um so i would think my order is ready we're heading in there now when I went in there there was actually other drivers standing around now when I initially pulled up there was no cars there and then I'm walking up to the door and all of a sudden there's cars and then people inside so um, they're a little busy it looks like but um, they're getting it done so I only had a few minute wait got my pizza it was just one pizza it's in the hot bag customers seven minutes 3.1 miles we're on our way hi there Alright, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I, I appreciate it. There you are, have a good night. You too. Thanks. All right, guys, smooth drop off for the mod pizza. Now it was a meat at door. It was a house. So what I've been doing with the meat at doors, I've mentioned this before and it's been working out is that once I have the order, I will message a customer that I'm on my way. Once I get to their place, I'll message them that I have arrived and typically they will come out. They'll either be waiting by the door or they'll, they'll start walking towards my car as I'm getting the order out. Works out perfect. I did need the pin from the customer. He was totally prepared waiting by the door for me gave me the pin so all is well that order got dropped off now after we left the neighborhood I started getting some orders and of course there had to be some decline and here comes some really bad offers again it's like I couldn't accept these and make money. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. It just baffles me that people say they're accepting all of these offers and making a ton of money, not in my market. That would not work out. And I know in a lot of your guys' markets, that wouldn't be working out either. You wouldn't be making a lot of money if you were taking some of these very low paying offers, backwards offers. But here is one of the offers, $3.75 for 3.7 miles. Absolutely not. Here's another one, $8, sounds nice, but not for 7.2 miles. And it was two orders from Little Caesars, AKA Little Sleezers. And as we all know with Little Caesars, sometimes there's a wait, you would think the pizza would be ready, but they aren't always ready. So that was an absolute no. Held out as I usually do. Uber Eats sent me another reasonable offer, $7.82 for 3.3 miles. A lot more reasonable. We are here right now, this place is packed it was hard to find parking 
had to park on the back side of the building um so i am going to walk around because it's chaotic in the front there's like no parking a lot of traffic so this was like the best place you used to be able to go through this back door right here um but it says enter through the front so it is locked um so we're gonna go around front it's not too far of a walk and get this order and get these wheels back to moving really busy today but they're not like packed inside there's like a lot of cooks in the back cooking and uh, bags and stuff off to the side like they're preparing for like a big order or something but my bag was sitting on the shelf but there was only like one cashier and she's like running everything getting people's orders taking them so i had to wait like a few minutes and then finally she asked me who i was there for and my order was sitting on the shelf of course but no big deal she was like working really hard and you know she told me she'd be with me in a moment so all is well customer is six minutes 2.3 miles but the other thing that i forgot to mention to you guys have you guys noticed with uber eats they're now having us verify the customer's name making sure that it matches up on the order i just noticed that they're doing that um on the last order i forgot to mention it to you guys are you guys seeing that too where they're having you guys verify making it sure that you do have the right order no big deal because of course we want to make sure we get the customer the right order um, but yeah let me know if you guys have that in your market we are on our way let's go get this order dropped off guys orders dropped off all went well except the customer left notes for me to go ahead and ring the doorbell after the orders dropped off and I've mentioned this before typically I won't ring or knock unless specified in the notes well the customer left the note I read it get up to the door leave the order get back in the car driving off and totally forgot to ring the doorbell now she does have a ring doorbell camera so I know she sees me um, usually I'll give them like a little wave because I've had somebody do that I was like that's actually pretty personable like an Amazon driver do that when they've dropped off at my house um, so I'll do that but I did message her that I'm on my way and I'm sure her ring camera doorbell notified her that I was there it's like oh no you know you try to follow the customer's directions but it happens from time to time as long as we do our best when we come out here so tonight hasn't been that bad of a night of course as always you got to decline and hold out for the reasonable offers but we're gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always so so much appreciate you guys riding along with me as always hope you guys are having an amazing start to the year it is 2024 can you believe it wishing you all a happy successful healthy new year and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys